this is a new Eureka device launched by YU and it has a 5.5 inch HD display and uh, it has a you know 15 uh, 5, me 5 megapixel front uh, front facing fixed focus and it has a 13 megapixel back camera autofocus which uh, has a flashlight it's a sony sensor and this has a finished uh, back panel it runs on a octa core processor uh, qualcomm 615 and it has a 2 gb ram ddr3 ram and 16 gb is the internal memory and uh, it has a 25 mah um, battery backup and uh, also uh, the uh, talking about the uh, hardware thing it has a power button uh, 3.5 mm jack and the volume rockers are here so talking about the uh, software part it has cyanogen running cyanogen 11 running on this device so uh, for this cyanogen it's more about the customization and the security so move, uh, so moving to the security so we can go to the settings so we can see the personalization can be done over here from the lock screen themes status bar notification bar buttons and the uh, security and the privacy so moving to the security part so in the lock screen so you can uh, lock the screen so you can lock the screen uh, with the pattern so in uh, in the novel stock android we have a 3x3 three three, uh, matrix and with this we have 6x6 six six matrix so you can see the amount of uh, permutation that we can apply on the pattern uh, so if i apply a pattern on 3x3 three three, so it's uh, not ending over here so you can apply the pattern so in normal stock and we can uh, make the pattern invisible but in this we can also enable the dots that are visible so uh, so we so over here we cannot see the dots so but there's a pattern available so we can draw the pattern and this unlock the device so as i show the dots over here so the dots has been shown and the pattern is not there. so this is more uh, highly uh, secure and moving on to uh, uh, pattern so we have also pen so whenever one locks the phone for example i'll type one two three four five uh, four and uh, one two three four and there's a scramble layout so whenever i lock the phone the uh, the layout of the uh, numbers always change for example one is over here so i lock the phone again unlock the phone so one number moves over here so you know no one can guess your uh, password even if you have uh, seen it so this is a highly secure uh, so it helps in the security purpose and uh, this, this is the security based uh, signage which is pre-installed so it's not available in the stock android uh, Talking about the customization, there are two lock screens, which is the custom lock screen and the uh, default lock screen. So in this, we have uh, custom lock screen is basically a translucent effect over here. So you can see the wallpaper being blurred. So there are three information given over here, battery and weather and the recent notification. So if I remove the custom lock screen, we have a, a standard uh, lock screen over here, which is a slider one. So in the stock Android, we only have this option or this option available but in this you have one two three four four option available in which you can also customize the amount of apps that you can put over here so this this is more of, more of a customization that you can do over the uh, locking uh, unlocking when you're unlocking the device also uh, we can when we un double tap it it wakes up the device and we double tap on this it leaves the device so this is the feature that is available uh, which is available over here for the provided by cyanogen so moving on to the customization long tapping on here we have two default themes which are available one is the yu theme and the uh, holo theme so this can customize your uh, phone entirely change from changing your phones to the icons and even up to the, your boot up animation can be changed according to your uh, customer needs so talking about more of uh, the uh, customization so move move to the settings so uh, in the status bar uh, so status bar in which we have brightness control so you don't need to go to the uh, settings for brightness control so you can swipe up your device for the full brightness and you can reduce it uh, by swiping the status bar so if i scroll to the max so it's brightness has been set to uh, full so this, this is a very important feature that is available so we talked about lock screen so we we'll go further to the status bar so status bar uh, also we talked about as uh, brightness control and uh, moving on to the um, notification draw so this is the quick settings so in which these all can be changed customized by using this so we can add bunch of uh, 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 applications over here so for example i add camera so uh, go back and bring down the notification so you can open the camera over here 
So as you can see the camera is available from there and we can even shoot from here. So 13 megapixel uh, images are being shoot, uh, shoot right from the uh, quick settings. So this is an awesome feature available. So one is heads up. So heads up is uh, available in uh, many different OS. So what what it does is that it will show a ribbon type of notification on top of the notification. It's a this is the heads up that we are seeing in uh, I think in Lollipop and in iOS. So in quick settings we have we have the auto close and we have different bunch of uh, you know customization that can be done. Most of it is the main important that we can add and delete the amount of settings that are available over here so moving on to the uh, uh, storage and the buttons part so in button parts you can add on the not, uh, navigation bar so you can have the navigation bar as well as the uh, uh, soft keys so it's the user you be customized if you use uh, you know the virtual keys so there's one google option available in the stock android but you can customize from one and two other apps also so we can do it from quick quick log, uh, quick launch setting so we'll go ab, ab, add an app over here we can toggle between torch so i'll when i'll go from here it will toggle between my torch so this is also customizer we can reset it over here so this is the customization that can be done Moving on uh, to the uh, moving on to privacy. So privacy, we have uh, Whisper Push. So it's more of a uh, I, um, VPN uh, type messaging service provided from Sanogen. From we can do messaging from Sanogen one Sanogen to the another Sanogen, which is highly encrypted, cannot be, uh, which is highly secure network, uh, secure uh, messages. And this is the blacklist. You can blacklist your incoming calls. And privacy guards enables your uh, each each app to be uh, you know uh, you can long tap it and you can see the, these are the uh, permissions that are there so you can either allow deny or always ask then so this is highly secure and customizable so moving on uh, to the uh, moving on to the security so it's a sms uh, message setting uh, so it can allow or deny a message uh, app or any other app which sends 30 messages within the 30 minutes so it's an app if you send 30 messages within 30 minutes will block the the app to you know uh, send those messages so one more feature that is that we can go over here and lock the entire folder so i have unlocked the entire folder so these this is the lock that i'll show you and these all apps which are logged in the folder cannot be shown and cannot be accessed from the main menu. So I'll, if I unlock the device, so only from here I can access it. If I unlock the device, unlock the uh, folder, then only they, they will be available on the main menu. So you can see the security based apps uh, and the customization can be done.